Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. The infinity of the divine power in Allah's graces and bounties. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds, who says in his ever glorious book, You cannot know what is new situation Allah may bring about. I bear witness. I bear witness that there is no good but Allah and that Muhammad is a servant and messenger. May Allah's peace and blessing be upon him, his household, companions, and upon those who follow their path to the Day of Judgment. Allah, glory be to him, is the most powerful. He is the supreme master over his creature. His power is absolute, and nothing can oppose it. Allah said about himself, Indeed, he has power over all things. Allah also said, and Allah is fully capable of doing all things. In another verse, Allah said, These people have no grasp of Allah's true measure. On the day of resurrection, the whole earth will be in His grip. In his grip. The heavens will be rolled up in His right hand. Glory be to Him. He is far above the partners they ascribe to Him. Also Allah said, Another of his sign is this, You see the earth laying desolate. But when we send water down on it, it stirs and grows. He who gives it life will certainly give life to the dead. He has power. He has power over everything. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is a sign of the kindness of Allah the Almighty, to his servant, and the greatness of his mercy toward them is that he relieves with his power the worries of his servants, removes their troubles, and bring them relief after hardship. Allah said, So truly, where there is a hardship, there is also ease. Truly, where there is a hardship, there is also ease. So, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala relieve with His power the worries of His servants, removes their troubles, and bring them relief after hardships. Allah said, So truly, where there is a hardship, there is also ease. Truly, where there is a hardship, there is also ease. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Be aware the victory comes with patience. Patience is everything. Victory comes with patience. Relief with affliction. And hardship with ease. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blessed for His servant, nothing can prevent or reduce it. Had Allah willed the blessing for His servant, nothing can prevent or reduce it. Allah said, no one can withhold the blessing Allah opens up for a people, nor can anyone but Him release whatever He withholds. He is the Almighty, the All-Wise. In another verse, Allah said, I put my trust in Allah, my Lord, and your Lord. There is no moving creature with he, which He does not control. My Lord's way is a straight. If the gates of ease are closed before a person, or these gates are reduced, and the hardship reaches its climax, then he has to turn to his Lord to open these gates for him, and give a great sustenance with his infinite, infinite power. Allah said, Allah will find a way out for those who mindful of him and will provide for them from an unexpected source. Allah also said, Is Allah not enough for His servant? Subhanahu, He is enough. Is Allah not enough for His servant? Yet they threaten you profit with those they worship other than Him. If Allah allows someone to stray, He has no one to guide him. If Allah guides someone, no one can lead him astray. Is Allah not mighty and capable of retribution? 
Abdullah ibn Mas'ud said, if hardship was in a home, ease would enter until it forces this hardship out. We can read in the Quran, the words of the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He said, you cannot know what new situation Allah bring about. This verse opened all gates of relief. Regardless of the troubles, sadness, problems, and worries that people suffer. So when we read this ayah, you cannot know what new situation Allah may bring about. This verse open all gates of relief, regardless of the troubles, sadness, problems, and worries that we suffer, and regardless of the obstacle that he may face and the challenges that may counter us. We must always remember that you cannot know what new situation Allah may bring about. Subhanallah. He has to remember that whenever Allah wants something, He shall only command it. Whenever Allah wants something, He shall only command it be, and it will be. He has to turn to His Lord and stick to His door. The trust of the infinity of the divine power is a conduct of prophets and messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah says about Himself, Who created the heaven and earth, Who sent down water from the sky for you, Which we cause gardens of delight to grow. You have no power, You have no power to make the trees grow in them. In another, it, it is, is it another God beside Allah? Is it another God beside Allah? Subhanahu. No, but they are people who take others to be equal with Allah. Who is it that made the earth stable place to live? Who made rivers flow through it? Who set a movable mountain on it and created a barrier between the fresh and salt water? Is it another God beside Allah? No, but most of them do not know. Who is that answer the distressed when they call upon him? Who is that answers the distressed when they call upon him? Who removes their suffering? Who makes you successor in the earth? Is it another God beside Allah? Little notice you take. Who is that guides you through the darkness in a land and sea? Who sent the winds and the heralds as a heralds of good news before His mercy? Is it another God beside Allah? Allah is far above the partners they put beside him. The Prophet, Prophet Noah, peace be upon him, asks his Lord, saying, I'm defeated. Prophet Noah asks Allah, saying, I'm defeated. Help me. So Allah the Most High showered him with a relief and ease. Allah said, So we open the gate of the sky with a tarnishal, tarnishal water, pressed the earth with gushing springs. The waters met for preordained purposes. We carried him along on a vessel of blanks and nail that floated under watchful eye, under our watchful eye, a reward for the one who had been rejected. We have left this as a sign. Will anyone take heed? This is an infinite power of Allah manifested itself in restoring the original state to the earth again. Allah said. Then it was said, Earth, swallow up your water, and sky hold back, and the water subsided, the command was fulfilled. The ark settled on mountain Judy, and it was said, gun 
are those evil-doing people. Also, Prophet Jonah asked his Lord when he was in his trouble, when he was swallowed by the well. So Allah answered his supplication as he said, I remembered the man with the well, Jonah, when he went off angrily, thinking we couldn't restrict him, but then he carried out in the deep darkness. This, there is no God but you. Glory be to you. I was wrong. We answered him and saved him from distress. This is how we save the faithful. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds. May Allah's peace and blessing be upon Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa his companions and followers. The blessing of Allah cannot be obtained through disobeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Rather, Allah, Allah's blessing are obtained through obeying His commands, having trust in Him, and making use of all available means. The Almighty Allah said, If the people of those towns had believed and been mindful of Allah, we would have showered them with blessings from the heavens and earth. The gates to solving all troubles in the hand of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who said, Should they not worship Allah, who brings forth what is hidden in the heavens and earth, and knows both what you people conceal and what you declare? We have to strive and avoid despair. We have to be merciful and avoid cheating, deception, a monopoly. For whoever does not have mercy will not get mercy. Whoever does not have mercy will not get mercy. And the merciful people are shown mercy by Allah. And the happy ending is awarded to those who are mindful of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We ask Allah to make easy, to make all of our affairs easy, and to protect our country Egypt and all other countries of the world. Thank you.